Welcome to our Piping Engineering YouTube channel. We continue our free piping education videos in this channel. Before starting this video please subscribe to our education YouTube channel to watch more piping engineering videos. You can also benefit from some private benefits by membership to our channel. In this video, we will learn about vital pipe flange types. Flanges are the construction element used to connect pipes, valves, pumps to form a piping system. In other words, it is the connection used to join the pipes. Flange dimensions for pipes ranging 1 half to 24, in classes ranging 150 to 2500. The first flange type is a weld neck flange. It is very easy to identify a weld neck flange from the appearance because it has a high, tapered hub like a neck. This neck will be welded with pipe so it has the same wall thickness as pipes. Weld neck flange is welded to pipe with full penetration weld it also has the effect of dispersing pressure, making the pipe less deformable. Weld neck flange is available in all sizes and it can be FF, RF, or RTJ type. The next type of flange is a slip-on flange. Slip-on flange, as the meaning of name, is a flange slipping on the pipe or fitting when connection. Slip-on flange is essentially a ring that is placed over the pipe end, with the flange face extending from the end of the pipe by enough distance to apply a weld bead on the inside diameter. The pipe should be inserting the flange inner bore, and leave a bit distance from the face of the flange to make sure it will not affect the sealing of two flanges. Slip-on flanges are welded to pipe both inside and outside. The next type of flange is threaded flange. The threaded flange design, also called a screwed flange, uses a screw thread to connect the flange to a pipe. A male thread is cut onto a pipe end whilst a female thread is cut into the bore of the flange, the male threaded pipe is then screwed into the female threaded flange. Even though the threaded flange design is available in many sizes and pressure ratings, it is mainly used for small sized piping systems i.e. less than or equal to 4 inches. Due to their lower pressure applications, threaded flanges use flat and raised faces only. The next flange type is lap joint flanges. A lap joint flange is a two-component assembly, a stub end and a loose backing ring flange placed over it. The stub end is but welded to the pipe, and the flange ring can be rotated to align with the mating flange. The backing flange can be of a different material. The stub end normally fabricate from carbon steel material for safe cost. Lap joint flanges connection is particularly useful for large or hard to adjust flanges. The next flange type is socket weld flanges. Socket weld flanges has a female socket in which the pipe is fitted. Socket weld pipe flanges are typically used on smaller size pipes and only suitable for low temperature application. There is small pocket after pipe to accommodate thermal expansion of pipe, which stagnates fluid and can corrosion if fluid is highly corrosive. They are welded only on outside of the pipe. The last flange type is blind flanges. A blind flange, also called a closure plate flange, is installed at the end of a piping system to terminate a pipe. It has no center hole, bore, so there is no flow through the flange. A blind flange may be used for isolating a pipe, valve, or pressure vessel. This type of flange is available in all sizes and classes, and may use a flat, raised, or ring-type joint face. This education video is finishing here, your comments about video you can write in the comments section. By becoming a member of our channel, you can support our channel and benefit from some features. I would like to express my deep gratitude to our viewers who already have member to our channel. Thank you for watching see you on next video, take care.